I'm Caleb Dennison, and this is DT Daily. Coming up, Apple plays telephone with their next OS update, EA cries uncle, and Google heads for space. Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference is over, and while they showed some slick new updates to Mac OS and iOS, new hardware announcements were noticeably absent. Apple CEO Tim Cook and an over-caffeinated Craig Federighi tag-teamed the WWDC crowd Monday afternoon, revealing cool new tricks like using any of your Apple devices to answer phone calls, giving Siri the Shazam-based ability to recognize music, and even a new programming language called Swift. This was a developer's conference after all, so those things weren't entirely unexpected. But we were a little disappointed that there was no new iPhone 6 introduced, and no mention of the unicorn-like iWatch or any other new toys to play with. Some are wondering if Apple lost its innovation mojo, but Tim Cook has said he won't introduce any new hardware until it's really ready to go. So here's hoping we get just one more thing, or a bunch more, at the next Apple go around later this year. If you're a fan of sports-based video games, EA is probably your go-to brand. But the video game giant is now on the hook for millions to compensate college ballplayers whose likenesses have appeared in EA games. The decision comes following an agreement reached with players after a long, drawn-out class action lawsuit. EA now says they will pay college players whose faces appeared in video games dating back to 2003. That's a lot of players, and the settlement could cost EA $40 million or more, which is still small change really for what they make on the games. A judge still has to sign off on the deal, but it looks like that will most likely happen. Both Google and Facebook have talked about bringing the internets to the approximately 4 billion people on Earth still not online, though their methods differ at this point. However, Google says they want to launch satellites, hundreds of them, to blanket the planet in Gmail, cat videos, and of course, ads. Prior to the space mission proposal, Google has considered using balloons and drones to bring the net to the untech masses. Between the three approaches, we're confident that someday you'll be able to Google yourself from any corner of the globe. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you tomorrow.